Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wednesday afternoon, and here are today's notices. <coughs> First of all, it is definitely getting chilly. I think we seem to have gone straight from summer into winter, and there was big frost this morning, and it is cold out there. But I would like to remind all students, and particularly sick form students, that your outdoor coat is not a substitute for your school jacket or blazer. It is as well as, if you are cold enough to wear an outdoor coat, you can certainly be wearing your jacket or blazer. So please, uh, jackets and blazers come first, outdoor coats over the top. Now, those of you in years 10 to 13 who have signed up for the Rutherford Appleton Laboratories Work Experience Assembly, as mentioned yesterday, please remember to report to the drama studio tomorrow morning, that's Thursday morning at 8.40. Mrs. Belbin will take a register there, so please don't go to your form room first, as this will delay the start of the assembly. Um, next up, some netball events, under 14A, under 16A and under 18A. You have the Berkshire County Netball Tournament next Saturday, 10th of November at Theo Green School. Please see team sheets and info on fixtures. Pro, if you are unable to play, please let me scan up no ASAP. Um, right, Eton Chess Jamboree. There's another one on the 6th of November. The next Chess Jamboree at Eton will be held this coming Tuesday, 6th of November, leaving from Hollyport, uh, leaving from Brunel Herschel Common Room at 5.35. It's a chance to play a couple of games with players from other schools, open to anyone who knows how to play, not just those who came last time. Sign-up sheet will be in the BH Common Room. Um, and also remembering that there is a scholars lecture tomorrow evening. Uh, now, a couple of nags from me, a couple of little moans. First of all, lots of times when we go into the canteen, your morning snack comes in a little wrapper, a wrapped up cookie, a wrapped up cake, some biscuits, whatever it might be, but with a wrapper. Please, can we all make an effort to put those wrappers carefully into the bins, not near the bin, not around the bin, but actually into the bins. They are provided, otherwise we'll have to go to snacks without wrappers like just fruit. So please, can we make a real effort with those wrappers, otherwise we'll have a week of snacks without wrappers and I think you quite like the snacks in the wrappers so please let's have a bit more clean and tidy there uh, and secondly a message for all students in year 7 to 11 um, obviously our rules on mobile phones changed from September this year and I'm very happy with the way most of us have gone about that however lots of my staff are starting to say to me that actually there's quite a lot especially of year 11s who basically now are just sitting around on their mobile phones waiting to be told to put them away and then going oh that's my warning okay I'll put it away then um, so we're just going to have a week of no warnings on mobile phones now so for just this week if your mobile phone is seen you will lose it to the end of the day and can collect it from reception at half past five this is all of your warning now just because I think we've been getting a little bit slack um, so mobile phones out the way for a week <clears throat> Well, mobile phones out the way at all times, but this week you're not going to get a warning, you're just going to lose it. Um, so please, let's get back on top of that because it has just started to slip slightly. I think that's it from me today. Have a lovely afternoon and I'll see you same time tomorrow. Take care, bye.